guys, as Colleen, I am finally making a new tutorial. Um, that's because I've been getting requests to show you guys a few things from my side effects collab part that was hosted by Lightning X Disaster. If you haven't already seen that collab, I encourage you to, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen it. I'm going to show you the effect I'm going to get to today, so here it is. Come over here where my clip is. Um, I did try and record this earlier and Sonny Vegas just completely froze on me. Hopefully this doesn't happen again, but I already made like a, a background. Um... If you want me to show you how I did it, I can. All I did was zoom in the clip, put some blur, made it black and white, and I added an overlay. Um, the overlay that I used is this one. Um, and I made it black and white. That's all I did. Um, the point of the video is to show you the text effect. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crop her out. I'm not going to go through every single detail and crop it out and go do the, I'm not going to do the, the keyframe, no, I'm not, don't feel like doing that right now. Um, for the tutorial, I'm just going to give her a little triangle, um, so first thing I'm going to do is crop it out a little bit, and then, um, make the triangle. Totally messed up. I totally messed up. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it bigger. Um, if you want to keep the shape of the the, the uh, mask, hit down shift and just kind of drag it out to make it bigger or smaller. And that way it will keep the shape. If you don't hold shift down, it'll go like that. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. And it's coming off the edges, so like try and make it not come off the edges. And you might have to make it wider. Can somebody, like, for some reason, like, it, it shows one thing right here, but then when you come over here, it doesn't show exactly what it shows over here. I don't know why that is, but if somebody knows, can you please tell me? Because <laughs> I have no clue. That looks good. Make it a little smaller. I guess that works. Um, and then go to position. And then put it where you want it. And I think I might rotate it a little bit. And then come over here and make it like that. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now that's done. Make sure you add another video clip. Okay. And then add your text. And then I'm going to use a font called Reckoner R. And then I'm gonna, um, obviously. So I'm going to adjust my text the way I want it, and then when I get done doing that, I will be right back. Alright, so now that we got the text good the way you want it, we're going to add another track.
and add a solid color. Solid color. And that should be good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn mask on, go to the circle mask, hit shift down and start making circles. Put them wherever you want them to be. Um, you could do like I did and kind of make it like this. It just depends on how you have your text and what the clip is and all that. Um, you could make it like it's um, one thing over here and the same thing over here. You could just put them anywhere or just do whatever you want to do. I've got an idea. And you want to make sure all of your circles are been um, under your text like that and yeah so I'm gonna finish placing my circles and then when I get back or when, when I get done with that I will get back to you all right now I've placed my circles um now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some effects to them and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, let's go. Let's go to emboss again to make them got some 3D-ish stuff happening. And then I think I might change the color. Um, make, make it gray. It, more of a gray color. That's good. I like that. Okay, so now that you've got everything that you want, you've got it, everything situated, what you're going to do is you're going to mute the text and you're going to mute your two clips. And then you're going to go make sure this is best full and then you're going to go to say snapshot. You're going to make this a PNG and save. Okay. And then gonna get rid of the the um the solid color. And then you're gonna put the PNG under the text. And then you can unmute all your tracks. And then um, after that, you're going to go to your video effects and find a plugin that will make it brighter. I'm going to use brightness and contrast. And then I'm going to use the preset flash sweep, which I made. But go ahead and copy my settings and then after that go into your pan and crop turn mask on then go to your settings and then it says go to where it says apply to FX and then go to yes and then you go to your make sure your square or rectangles selected and then make a tiny little rectangle and blur it out. And tilt it if you want. And then just kind of play with the mask until it fits what you want. 
Also, you can play with the blur. Like, that's perfect. Okay. Now, you're going to keyframe the, mo the movement. And go from that side to this side. Take it off. All right, well, that looks good to me. Um, it's not exactly what this is, but it's a variation. I, I did this the exact same way I did this. So I hope this helps, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'm going to try and make these weekly. I've said that before, but I have been getting in a lot of requests lately. And I have a few ideas um, I want to do. So I'm going to try and make more tutorials. I know I say that every video, but I really I feel like I'm letting you guys down. And I don't want to, so I will try and post more. All right. See you in the next one.